Hi, uh, I'm Ashwani Kumar Dhaka. I'm studying Boeing 737 NG type rating here in Baltic Aviation Academy. Uh, my name is Pratik. I'm from India. I'm here for my Boeing 737 NG training. Uh, nice to see you. Uh, please tell about your dream to become a pilot. When or how did it start? Well, I started my uh, dream to become a pilot when I started my aviation career in the ground staff in one of the biggest airlines in India. And then I started pursuing my initial training in uh, Arizona in US. And then I completed my CPL, converted into Indian CPL. And here I am for my 737 next level of training. Actually, this all started. I went to visit one of my uncle. And uh, he came with me to the airport and he uh, came to drop me. So he's a pilot. So he just uh, came with me inside. And he was actually telling me what all airplanes is all about and what are the speeds and everything and uh, how how they operate and the amount of respect and the amount of you know the it was all different it was uh, different than being a engineer or being a uh, you can say a doctor or something like that and i always wanted to be you know a little bit different i won't say class apart or something like that but a little bit different so i just it clicked there and second thing was, you know, one of my, uh, my brother, my elder brother, he's also a pilot. So he always says, you know, I, I can't work from home. So that's the best thing, you know, I can't work from home. So, and the rest of all uh, factors contributed and I became a pilot. Uh, could you tell about the current situation in Indian aviation sector? Well, the uh, situation is quite uh, promising, is good, and it's improving. And uh, we have a lot of opportunities which will be coming up in the future for the pilots uh, in India because as we uh, knew that the, a lot of deals are coming up after the FDI is open in Indian market. So things are expanding and the airlines want to expand themselves in international market as well as in domestic because we have a great potential for our domestic uh, uh, carriers as the India is a big country and we have a lot vast uh, uh, things to explore in India. Could you name uh, what aircraft type pilots are on the, on the biggest demand at the moment Actually, in India? Actually, you know, there are like three, three aircrafts. One is uh, Boeing 737, which I am doing right now. The other one is uh, Airbus 320 and the third one is ATR. But uh, as everyone is fascinated about the jet aircraft, so they, they um, most of them, they prefer 320 or 737 NG. Well, we have a, actually a balanced uh, requirement of pilots, uh, both on Airbus 320s and 737. It's almost balanced because the three big airlines are having 737 and the three other uh, biggest airlines are having uh, 320s. So it's a balance. We also have a demand for like, uh, ATR, uh, small turboprop aircraft, that's also growing up because of the regional airlines coming up. So it will be also a big demand. Uh, in your opinion, is this situation uh, advantageous for the pilots to be in India? Well, it's, it is advantageous. You know, it's like uh, if you are from India, it's always advantage because they give you opportunity because we have the rule for that all the first officers should be Indi from India and it, you should be a national uh, a passport, Indian passport holder. So it's always an advantage that the government is taking care of your, uh, you know, career progression. So it's always an advantage in India. If you have the, you know, uh, to become a pilot, you need certain kind of qualities. In if you have those qualities and you be patient, patience is the m uh, major, you know, the key in, uh, in aviation sector. And if you be patient, it is favorable. And you, you need to know everything, whatever you're doing. And uh, soon enough, everyone will find a job. And what uh, is the qualities for a good pilot? Quality, actually, it's you know, a mix, mix match. You know, sometimes you need to be aggressive. Sometimes you need to be patient. Sometimes uh, you, ne you need to be laid back. So you have to you know, know when you have to be patient or when you have to be aggressive and everything. So it depends on the situation. It's not, you know, you, you can't have one quality and become a good pilot. What could you advise to people in India who want to obtain pilot profession? Well, I would like to advise just uh, go for your dreams, what you want in your life. It's all about aviation, it's all about patience, hard work, and your uh, aim to focus in the right direction. That's it. Could you say, why do you choose studies in Europe instead of India, for example? Actually, you know, we don't have TRTOs in India. Uh, we, uh, and 
everyone knows the uh, the standards of uh, J is much much higher than any any place uh, in, around the world. So that's why I just chose uh, Europe. First of all, uh, Europe. I always heard about Europe with the standards and the quality of training, which is always the preference for us because if you are trained in a good environment and a good uh, facility, it's always help you in your future. And that's what uh, you know. The airlines, when we go back, they look for your quality training and your uh, standards which you have done, and of course the f uh, safety standards and everything. So you may say that um, this would give you an advantage. Yeah, it would give an job. advantage uh, because everyone knows that the European standards are much uh, better than other uh, countries, uh, other part of the world. You know, uh, if I tell them like I, I'm from Europe instead of any part, uh, any other, so they they will you know have uh, this thing in back at the back of their mind that yeah this guy is from Europe, so he he has trained from one of the best people uh, in this industry, so they will it might it. I won't say it will help, but it might help you. It might help you. Uh, in your opinion, what pilot should take into consideration while making a decision what training center to choose? Well, he should think, uh, look into the background of the uh, school or the aviation college, wherever he is going. He should look for the uh, authorization certificates by the authority of the country or the like Czar or FAA. And he should look for the safety standards. How are they maintaining their safety standards? And like if they have and their instructors, all those things, the facilities are there. How good are they? How well are they maintained? And uh, he should always go for a good quality training rather than going for a, you know, a substandard quality because that's always matters. The requirements are the major thing. So if you are choosing uh, TRTO, the standards are, you know, standards, you need to have standards and uh, you, need, you should consider standards, the slavers and everything, but the requirements, they should fulfill what the requirements of DGCA is and like they are like, like, like Baltic Aviation, they give like a lot more than what DGC asks for. So if you have more hours, more study sessions, so you learn more and that's what like practice makes a man perfect. So practice, uh, this practice will make a pilot perfect. Like. Uh. And how did you choose Baltic Aviation Academy? Actually, I just uh, it came. I just uh, searched for some college, and I just uh, went through Baltic. And Baltic, I just saw the study material, and one of my friend, I just showed it to him. He he, he works in Jet Airways, and I showed uh, the plan to him, and he he agreed with it. He said like it's like really really good, and the way they have you know uh, put all the courses, like we have the MCC and the uh, CRM courses, like it's right you know, uh, right right behind the uh, all the simulator sessions. So it will help. And all the MCC and these trainings are given on the type of aircraft which we are here for, uh, you know, type rating. We are here for the, like basically we are here for 77NG uh, type rating. So we are doing our MCC course on that. A lot of companies, they, they, they do it on 320s or some other. So it's, it's really helpful for us. Uh, well, I was just uh, searching online and uh, I just went to the website and it looked quite promising. And uh, when I talked to my sales manager, she was really nice. She really helped us in our everything. And uh, it, the contract, the syllabus, and everything was perfect as per the requirement for me for getting back into India to get the endorsement on my license. Is it still perfect? It's going perfect till now. And it will go perfect, I hope so, in the future. <laughs> Nice to hear. Thank you for your time. And on behalf of Baltic Aviation Academy, we would like to wish you highest achievements in your pilot career. Thank you very much. Thank you.